Let's go, baby. You know what time it is. It's time to study hard. Yeah. So we are digging into the season finale of Grimsburg. We've mm -hmm. watched the first third of it approximately. And I love how I'm laughing out loud every like 30 seconds or so. This show is funny. We're not folks who really keep up with it a whole lot, but I love the layering of the crime of the week and the comedy. The acting is whoo, so great. I'm going to have to dig into that some more as we talk more about it. And as far as the writing goes, besides the joke density, I'm really respecting the laying out the little crime series of things that you need. You need little clues. We have a code. We have all kinds of fun plays on murder mysteries. So that's it so far. I'm in, I'm laughing, and the style is not my own, but it is entertaining. Yeah, what you feel? It's, it, I agree with you. It's not my own. It's yeah. a little bit, you're talking about joke density. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit too dense. Uh, they're trying a little bit hard. Um, I mean, that's that's the style, you know. They're just yeah, bam, 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 bam. Um, which, which is fun. And you know, I've watched types these types of shows, yeah, animated you know things um, over you know 20, yeah, 30, 20, 30 years. Yeah, the Futurama. Right, right, yeah. right. American Dad. Uh, you know all that. The stuff. list goes on. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just they're just making jokes for joke's sake type of thing and it's just sort yeah. of like meaning they're not uh, character-based jokes they're jokes that are coming from associations with just fun things to think about out in the pop culture yeah i mean as I mean, opposed to really down deep in the characters well they probably are down deep in the characters um we just don't follow the show well enough to really right. make but that distinction like, maybe yeah but i mean it doesn't make me want to know these characters it's 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 sort of so ridiculous. I mean, some, like, what was, there was another show, um, Great North. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A similar sort of, like, lots of jokes. Yeah. But it wasn't as just ridiculous just to be ridiculous. Um, well, they're probably was, having was, a different thing that they're doing because they weren't trying to do a murder mystery. They were letting these yeah, characters yeah, yeah. live their lives. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so there was less, like, we have to move things forward in a certain way to fit two genres. Yeah, One, the comedy, yeah. and then this other genre that Case has its rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just, I guess for me, it's just a little bit much... A little jam-packed. Uh, jam-packed, a little just too zany just to be zany. Yeah, and, um, not my style, but Great yeah. North was like. There was a certain thing that yeah, they Great worked. North was sort of like yeah. it was very zany, but it, it for some reason it just worked for, it wasn't, for me. For because I think it wasn't trying to push up against the murder mystery. Okay, See, I think okay. the, they're trying to make it Do okay. Too much or something, or well, if you have something as extreme as a murder and yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. be laughing, yeah, you almost yeah, have yeah. to take it to a zany yeah, place where yeah, you don't yeah. identify with the murder victims as yeah, much, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can stay a little bit more realistic and get to care about characters if you're not just sort of supposed to look the other way if somebody just drops dead. Yeah, I yeah. think that's why the zany. I think that's maybe why is because yeah, 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 yeah. for Grimsburg, they're bringing this grim right, kind right. of element right, and they right, have to right. keep making us be okay with that it's there and we're doing yeah. murder mystery stuff but it, it's zany so it's okay yeah it's okay. a con it's a concept and a conceit you don't see all the time yeah we have definitely seen a mystery done with a crime mystery done with comedy but yeah. it leaned more towards dramedy and we really loved uh watching a whole bunch of deadlock but mm -hmm, they gave right. themselves more time. They were not animated. Right, they right, really right. sat in the realism more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. like I said, because they weren't animated right, and they also right. went on the dramedy side. That right. could really work. Right, 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 right. So far, so good in terms yeah. of I'm entertained as we're doing this experiment of trying these different shows out. Yeah. And I, I'm just, the joke density is interesting because as a screenwriter, if you're up against people have this is the joke density that you need for a comedy, then right. you're sort of like, that's the world that you're in. But then when you open up dramedy and you open up all these slashes, then the joke density can be whatever right, keeps people engaged right. when you have the other things going on that yeah, also pull yeah, us yeah. in, like caring about the characters a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this should be interesting. Let's see how we, do we warm up to it? Once yeah. we start giving them a little yeah. bit more time, do we warm up to it? Yeah. So I'm about two thirds of the way through the season finale. I'm noticing as far as the writing goes, I am seeing that these characters are given jokes and given funny based on their little idiosyncrasies. I think as I'm being able to get a little bit more experience with them, I'm appreciating that the writing isn't just so random. There are pop 
references that they're pulling in. Yeah, yeah. But I think they're fitting the characters and their little push and pulls with each other. So I'm liking that. I'm starting to warm up a little bit to some of this, especially because with the season finale, it's a fun twist that they're having the main detective be thrown into an insane asylum with a lot of people that he's put into custody. So that's a fun right. way to sort of look out over across and a lot of uh, territory to cross and cover a lot of territory. There mm-hmm, you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. So I like that. Yeah. You're still not um, warming up I'm to it. Still not, okay. I'm still not getting it. That's all um, right. Everything's not for you. It's okay. <laughs> it's season finale, so we don't have to watch a lot more yeah, unless I mean, I do, they want I, us to watch a few more. Yeah, they do throw in a lot of like, um, like you're saying, pop references yeah you know, or uh, you know current events or you know whatever yeah something very very tongue-in-cheek um which is fun yeah it's fun i i, I like i sort of like that I think it's fun but, yeah but, but... <laughs> if your whole, whole show rests on that you know then yeah it's not quite enough for i like me. the thruple jokes they're having this friend yeah, yeah, come in and yeah they have that... like little things that are sort of like oh that's funny oh that's funny yeah, yeah. but thruple jokes are but, like, also sort of of the time right now yeah, <laughs> do yeah, a lot yeah. of that kind of thing too yeah, yeah. on different shows it's been played for fun i'm having fun with it but i gotta say as far as the acting whoo it's excellent mm-hmm. yeah yeah as far as the writing goes they're achieving consistency with their style yeah. it's just not my strongest yeah, yeah flavor of comedy no it's the one the one i like the most it's probably right. a strong flavor i think it is a strong oh, yeah. flavor oh, yeah. of comedy <laughs> it's not mild right right, right it's right. not the thing i like the most as far as styles of comedy yeah. but i do like layers and i do like quirk i think yeah. it's just we're not keeping up with it we probably really appreciate some of the little callbacks and things yeah. that they're doing yeah because it's a season finale if we were keeping up with it yeah. but some of the other stuff is just sort of cute it's just they do sometimes spend a little bit of time just trying to get the funny. Yeah. And yeah. It's, I think it's, that's okay, but since yeah. I'm not just sort of swept up by the characters and just in love with this formula yeah. of mixing the murder mystery kind of thing with the zany humor, mm-hmm. then I'm just sort of like, well, are we doing joke density, boom, 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 boom? Or are we taking the time to sort of let the characters rub up against each other? And I think they're trying to do a little bit of both and advance yeah. the storyline that goes around the mystery and yeah. have a little bit with the the other characters, like the, the boy who's yeah. got the imaginary friends as a skeleton, you know? Yeah, I was just going to say, it's uh, the writing, you can tell, is it's very smart. Like, the, the yeah. writers are really sort of witty and intelligent. Yeah, they're very intentional about how they're setting up yeah. all these jokes. And yeah, 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 yeah. Connecting um, them to the larger doings and yeah, pulling yeah. you forward in the plot. It, it's, it's just sort of like, yeah, we get it, you're good at writing jokes. Um, <laughs> let's let's have a little bit more plot and uh, more like plot that. around the characters' relationships because I yeah, think that's one yeah. of the things that a lot of us get pulled into shows for yeah, is we really yeah. care about seeing characters grow and learn. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. appreciating with the character of the boy who is he's trying to get his parents back together right, and then he's right. trying to find friendships and stuff and it mm-hmm. seems like if we were following this show along that might be somewhat of a fun kind of story for us to see yeah he seems like a good egg even though yeah. he's sort of struggling yeah and i think we might root for him and maybe a little bit of the heart is what we're missing yeah the show. exactly exactly a little bit like give me something to care about give me something to yeah, yeah like, they probably did a little bit more of that over the seasons of time. Right, this is right. just a payoff for people who've been on the journey with them. Right, We're coming right. in sort of late. Yeah. We've seen like one yeah. episode of this show before, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. found it funny. It's just, it wasn't something I was like, oh, yeah, let me make sure I watch it yeah, because the yeah, style is yeah. just not my most favorite style. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. part of it is what's the message that they're really trying to slam home here? And I think when shows try to give you a little bit something richer and deeper to really care yeah, about, yeah, I show right. up for them. Yeah. And I think... You get some of that with Deadlock. You get some of right. that with Abbott Elementary. They're not right. heavy-handed with it, right? But they right. give it. It's to just you. that balance. You have to, you know. Yeah. I like that. I, I like the balance better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. People should let us know why they go to Grimsburg because yeah. I think there's a lot of good skill in this storytelling. Yeah. Everything's absolutely. not for everybody, but we're probably missing it's some things that of... we can really appreciate about it. Let yeah. us know what we're really like, yeah. not really getting that it's just so artful and so well done. Because I like to appreciate some art, even if it's not like my favorite style of art. You yeah. show me the strokes and how it was done and I can mm-hmm. say, oh, okay, I can see that. And yeah, yeah. Teach me a little bit of something about this style. Cause yeah, there's definitely skill there. I think it's, definitely just, skill. I think it's just sort of it needs to be balanced for my for my taste needs to be balanced with 
other types of skills. You know, it's like it's like all it's all one type of skill. You know, sort of they're le they're leaning really on the the funny wacky stuff yeah. and it's like give me a little bit more of you know. Yeah. So if you go to a restaurant and you just have a steak, no, you have a salad and maybe some potatoes and you know. Yeah, yeah. and across the out. season they might have done that. Yeah. We might have missed some of the episodes where they took some more time. Right, right. So let us know if that's the case. Right. We finished the season finale. It seems like that show has a lot to offer that I just don't warm up to completely. Yeah. I got through it. I gave it a chance. And yes, it isn't something that is totally my style of comedy. But they did even put in some little statements about things on a social level that I appreciated. And they gave a little bit more time to a heartfelt connection to things yeah. that were going on. Yeah. But it was just sort of quick. And then we got back to our zany kind of style. Yeah. So it was there. They gave us a little bit of a nod, a little bit of a statement here if you want to be thinking about bigger things. But that's not what the show is about. Mm -hmm. So I think like a lot of art, we just have to sort of judge it based on what it's trying to do. Yeah. And I think it does what it's trying to do with the acting, with the writing, the animation style. It's all done to keep this cohesive engine for zany comedy that has this edge to it going and it does it does that yeah is it a big thing for me that pulls me and really inspires me it tells me that there's an audience out there for all kinds of different combinations of mm. things and it inspires me to find the combination of different genres that really inspire me right. and my own characters and the things that i want to talk about but i gotta say Ugh, I just, I'm I just, not won over. It was well done. It was well done. I, I just kept on waiting for there to be something that I cared about yeah, or connected yeah, to. Yeah. And yeah, it just didn't didn't happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Again, the the writing was very smart, witty. Very. Um, it just. To just, what just end? A, yeah, just a lot what of a lot, lot of lot of little sharp, witty things. And yeah. did, you know, didn't didn't uh, go anywhere for for me. You know, as, as yeah. far as like what I care about. You know, I so. do know what you mean. Yeah. I totally know. And obviously, there's fans out there for it, or it wouldn't have gone along as far as it has gone along. Yeah. Let us know what we're missing, and maybe we're just not the type of folk who like a zany ride, and that's all right. Right. But right. I get the feeling there's some depth in some of these different turns that maybe they've had over the seasons please let us know if there's a great episode that really goes into deeper spaces because we might actually love it and then we might see oh you guys being zany lets you tell something deep that nobody else would have gotten to if they tried to play it more realistic yeah so let's see if there's a payoff like that i'm not holding my breath but if you all I... know the show well and there's something that we should really check out knowing our sensibilities let us know i was also uh, watching it with the intention to, you know, try to find some sort of spiritual angle. Yeah. Um, and all I kept on coming up with was, like, how the people who made the show need to get some spiritual, oh. some spirituality in their life. Um, um, Ooh, shots fired. Because <laughs> it, it was just so, so sort of, like, almost vacuous. Um, what we could see of it, what we can yeah, appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's stuff that I'm missing. I just is, know maybe, I'm maybe missing something. Maybe this episode something. was Because they're trying to pull a bunch of things together yeah, yeah, yeah. to wrap up maybe the it was, season. Maybe it was different than most other episodes. But, yeah, I just... I just yeah, Let us know. Yeah. Kept Tell on, us. Kept on trying to find something in there. but I'm just curious about how this kind of sensibility gets thumbs up like are there huge numbers of shows that go wacky like this because i think over the years there have been huge numbers well, of zany shows but it has this grim kind of on darkness you know, yeah Fox they have this animating, brand animating yeah things, yeah they yeah. do have their brand yeah 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 and it just feels like okay so there's this space where people really deal with this and they love it and then people are just churning out creative yeah. spins on it mm -hmm, but just mm -hmm. this style is not for me right right so i tap out even though like a Bob's Burgers, that was because they weren't trying to pull in so much darkness. Right, right. That was right. something I like. And I think that's what's going on for me is I'm trying to use humor to lighten certain serious things. Yeah. They're trying to use humor to pull in with shock value of these yeah. grim things. And that's yeah. different than lightening something yeah. so we can really deal with deeper parts of the human experience. Yeah, like Bob's Burgers. I'm 
I'm not a huge fan of Bob's Burgers. Yeah, but, but they I, say something about family. They say yeah, something about... But at least I can, you know... Getting through life in a meaningful way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find something there. Just some heart. There's a, there's yeah. a, there's a family unit yeah, that's yeah, trying yeah. to understand each other. Yeah, yeah. Give each other a hard time sometimes. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not a huge but, fan of that either. Right, right. I think at the end of it, Inspired by and Why is about broadening some of what we're looking at, but also mm -hmm. we're trying to find inspiration. So we're going to have to go back and sort of think what inspires us about this. And yeah. then we can talk a little bit more and y'all can add to the conversation. Yeah. We checked out this 13th episode to wrap up season one. And I guess the show was already greenlit for season two before season one even premiered. Hmm. And the main character uh, is... Detective Flute, voiced by John Hamm. I was just reading a little bit more about the making of the show. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about what we thought of it. But I think when John Hamm is talking about the season finale and some of the twists and things and what they were trying to do with it, he kept saying that this show was supposed to be wacky and fun and silly and sort of Obviously. bizarre. Obviously. And that's what yeah. we were picking up yeah. on as we were watching it. And that's something that is not our main wheelhouse we go for entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Full disclosure, we're right. still not huge Grimsburg fans, but let's talk, let's get into it and talk about what we were inspired by. So, so oh, you want to go ahead? Well, I was just, yeah, I was going to mention the, um, I was trying to look at it um, with a spiritual lens, you know, through, um, and I was, I was thinking about uh, patients um, and how they deal with their characters having patients or not. Um, and, you know, like you said, it's wacky and zany and, you know, that's, that's what they're going for. Um, so the way they, the, well, the uh, examples that stuck in my mind of um, then having or not having patience um, were sort of flipped, you know, which obviously if you want to, something to be funny, you know, have it. The Flip the expectation. Yeah, yeah, have it the opposite of what you expect. Okay, what you talking about? So, um, yeah, I mean, um, like Detective Flute, you know, he, you know, his Danish is missing, so he's like, ah! You know, it's like the biggest you know, reaction. Reaction, yeah. 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 No patience for that. Um, and um, sorry. Um, it's okay. And you know, but then he gets put in this insane asylum, and he's like, "Oh, okay. You know, here I am. You know, I'm just gonna do some uh, online therapy and blah blah blah." And, right. You know, no, no problem. Um, uh, online therapy because the criminally insane are the ones who are the online therapists, which is right, a little right. comment there about like what is online therapy giving us? Because right. a lot of us have been tapping that since pandemic and during pandemic and right. before pandemic and after. Right. So, so I find it to be useful for this family, but evidently the makers of Grimsburg gotta have some jokes about it. So pretty funny. So um, yeah, so I mean that that's their whole um, their whole way of doing that you know just flip the expectations yeah just like Get that funny just like there. a lot of animated comedies um you know south park oh little kids are saying curse words oh that's right. so funny because that doesn't usually happen in real life uh, hopefully not <laughs> maybe more so these days but uh, hopefully not for our little one let's yeah, put it that way yeah. but anyway so um so yeah with the patients you know um uh, there, there were instances of, of the characters, you know, having patience with certain things and not, you know, not with others, but it tended more so to be, to be flipped. Things you didn't expect. Didn't expect, yeah. Um, yeah. Which, they know how you know, to do comedy. Yeah, they, they know. These writers. They know how to do their job. They know how to do their Absolutely. job. Absolutely. And I guess with the making of it, there's stuff that people have written down. There's also room for people to do improv. And a lot of the people in this cast, y'all, who they're loaded with comedy, experienced veterans right, here who right, know right. how to get into a story mm -hmm. and just loaded with really great actors. So John Hamm, Rachel Dratch, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, big name in yep. voice acting. Yep. So Alan Tudyk, that's how you say it. I don't name. know how to say it. Well, he's everywhere. And y'all, yeah, yeah. if I'm mispronouncing it, you still know who he is. <laughs> Just great, great people. The list goes on and on. I know Wendy McClendon Covey from um, the series she was doing where she was the mom. And uh, that one got wrapped up recently and went on off the air. But that was one where she was just really funny. You've seen her in a bunch of things. And, and more and more people. Rosie more and more Perez. People. Exactly. I was, I was waiting I was, to get to Rosie. I was I like, know. Rosie in there. And that, was, that was, makes you really smile. As I was watching, I was sort of wondering, are, are they trying to... No, they gave they like gave Rosie, you Rosie. They, they gave you yeah. the real Rosie. Yeah, yeah. 
So Wendy's known for bridesmaids. Y'all know bridesmaids, but the Goldberg, that's what I was trying to oh, talk about. Oh, the Goldbergs. Gold, Goldbergs. The yeah. Goldbergs. Yeah, the mom. Yeah, the mom. And then she was in Ring of 911. Of course she was. That's how we oh, really yeah, first yeah, knew yeah, her. Right. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, we, we are a fan of Wendy because yeah. she's just so, but, but Rosie, for real, for real, we're a fan of Rosie such that we think, well, is that really Rosie? Because we don't want Rosie to be invoked if it's not Rosie getting a check. Right, right, she's right, getting right, a check right, for that. Right. And I guess she'll be back next season. Exciting. Yeah. For the people who really love this brand of humor. So going over to the writing, I was inspired to see this as an exercise in. There's a lot of styles of things out there. People recommend you find your unique style right. for what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. What I'm seeing is people are digging into the unique, bizarre, wacky, weird, yeah, have yeah. fun with it style of what they're trying to do. Right, right. Hats off to them. You know they're having fun making this show. You oh, can yeah. feel it. You oh, can yes. feel they're having fun. And oh, John yeah. Hamm is talking about that. So yeah, I'm like, good yeah. for y'all. Y'all yeah. got something that y'all love to do. You found a niche mm -hmm. for it. You found an audience for it. That's right. what the assignment is for all of us creatives. If we can pull it off. Absolutely. So I feel inspired that they found something that gives some of these people who do really serious projects yeah. a chance to have fun and laugh. Ooh, ooh, I understand that. I voice mm -hmm. a lot of serious things mm -hmm. myself as a voice actor. Right, right. So serving up some funny, yes, please. Yeah, and then yeah. if there is anything else for me as a screenwriter, it is that density of jokes that was in that show. It was balanced, I think, with they're trying to, in that season finale, call back a lot of other storylines. And I guess what they were doing was having this big overarching tie-in to all these other right, right. zany, wacky stories of these yeah. investigations. But still, they were trying to tie it in. So they had a lot of ground to cover in this season finale. I think that's one of the things that, in reading about it a little bit more, I can now appreciate. Yeah. is because they were trying to tie in threads that we didn't actually see because we haven't been fans of the show to watch it across the season. Right. But they did tie it in. And so they took the time to do it. And nods and hats off to them for the craft of doing it in a half hour show and keeping the joke density up yeah, and having yeah. a little bit of a moment to have us care a little bit about the child's character with Stan Flute. I right. cared a little bit about some of what they're doing, but you just don't have but so much time to dig in. And that's Rachel Dratch's voicing Stan. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I really think Stan is played, as far as the wackiness goes, played more for his heart, less wacky. Right, right. And so right, I was rooting right, for right. a little bit more time with him. Right. I mean, the fact is, I mean, his imaginary friend is the wacky part, but he yeah. himself is just Scary a normal, looking. normal kind of kid. Kind of sweet kid. Trying to... You know, get his family back together. Yeah, that's kind of a sweet, nor normal sort of stuff. Not right. going to happen thing, but right, right. <laughs> at least that's my guess. Anyway. Right, right. So we've seen a little bit of other episodes of Grimsburg. We dug into this one. You co connected it to and covered the connection to spirituality, talking about patience. I thought about the writing here, but just more deeply, I'm thinking about what is inspiring for me with this. Mm -hmm. But the acting is for real, for real inspiring. If you see this as a playground for some of these actors to enjoy stretching out a bit, if they're known for serious, if they're known for other things that they do and just feel like, yeah, it's time to just get in here and move around. That's inspiring to me. That I'll latch on to. So some of the sort of things that are real about how do we see a piece of art like this? So we're mostly talking about the actual art, but I think what's inspiring me more is someone who's like John, or some of the other actors who might dig into the deep stories, get the chance to just have fun with a project. Right. And it does feel like they're having mm -hmm. fun with it. Yeah, yeah. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of the final tone that right. they're hitting, right. they're right. consistent with it. They're yeah. pulling it off. Yeah. I give them that. Yeah. They got a season finale that pulled some threads together from mm -hmm. a, the whole season one that they did. Yeah. So these folks are really skilled and they're having a great time. Yeah. And it feels that way. That's so inspiring. It is. But let us having know. Fun. Having getting, fun is inspiring. Yeah, getting paid to have fun. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. exactly. That's great. Yeah, and there's so many skilled people with the animation being like beautifully done and it fits the style. No, I think it I think it fits the style. Yeah, it fits the style. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. like um yeah. it's it's fitting another tone. If I say right. beautifully done, I just mean like it's beautifully done that or, it does what it's supposed to exactly. do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not right, that right. it's supposed to be some like super artistic thing that right, would really right, right. counter the tone. Right, right. The animation right. fits the tone of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Totally. yeah. I like it. I like that it has a lot of different characters you wouldn't expect. There's a lot of diversity represented. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of zaniness mm -hmm. here in the yeah. concepts. Yeah. You've got your like cybernetic character. Oh, that's fun. I mean, that's just like silly and fun. Right. I do think there's heart in this, talking about friendship. I do think there's heart in this with the character, the little boy Stan, who wants his parents to get back right. together. Right. And the detective is trying to repair his relationship with his son. Even though there's a lot of zaniness and there's a lot of wacky stuff, there's stuff people can relate to. 
it's just given such a light touch. Yeah, so yeah, quick. yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, and so yeah. I think you and I gravitate towards things where the comedy is sort of quick and we go more in right. depth with the deeper right, things. Right, right, right. I'm still inspired, y'all. I'm still inspired. And yeah. please let us yeah. know if there are episodes in this first 12 episodes that preceded this for season mm -hmm. one that go into a little bit more of the style that Tim and I like because we would be happy to go back and check it out. This is a short show and it's funny. And so if you have something that gets even deeper into the kinds of things we like, let us know yeah. and we'll check it out and tell you what we think. Uh, and meanwhile, just like and subscribe and comment. Get into the conversation with us. We yeah, have many yeah. other shows we're going to be checking what we out. Missed. Yeah, yeah, because tell you know us, we are learning your, on this show. Your take on it, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. correct us for yeah. mispronouncing things right. and <laughs> and let us know what else to watch. I think yeah. for this, we really do have heart in other shows that we've seen, like Abbott yeah. Elementary. So y'all yeah. can see us and hear us talking about that. And there's also Deadlock that I'd be willing to revisit that I don't think y'all have seen that conversation. I think I haven't put that up yet, mm. but let us know if you'd like to hear us talking about that because we're talking about some shows that have the comedy and then other things going on that are deeper. So Deadlock has the comedy and it has um, the procedural. Procedural, yeah. yeah. And, and I guess yeah. Grimsburg has the procedural right, elements, right. but it's not actually right. trying to do the tone of a murder mystery. Right, like right, your right, Elsbeth right. that we talked about right. does really a procedural and gives it time to do a procedural. Yeah, we yeah, like yeah. Elsbeth and enjoy that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We think it's very skillfully done and it fits the tone that we enjoy. Yeah, yeah. So y'all can check out some of those different things that we've already discussed. Let us know if you want to hear the uh, fuller conversation about yeah. um about deadlock we've seen that a while ago i don't know if deadlock has gotten a season two but that's something mm. that people might want to check out that's a show that was filmed when in, in tasmania, tasmania yeah. yeah so not an american show but still really really got some darkness to it some comedy to it some yeah, sex it, yeah. it's, it's appealing yeah and we uh watched the whole season of it so we got into it y'all might check it out might enjoy in the meantime comment like subscribe and y'all take care Bye.